I'm Christy and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you've never been here before and in today's video I am here with my end of year book haul for you. So I have about 65 books to haul today so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to start off with the hardcovers. So first up is Bloodmarked. This is the second book after Legendborn which is a YA series that I really enjoyed. I really loved Legendborn. It was like a King Arthur kind of reimagining retelling but like in contemporary times with magic and all that so this is the sequel to it and I'm excited to check this one out. Next, of course, I had to grab Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. This is one of my favorites of the year and one of my favorite Kennedy Ryan books. So I definitely wanted to get the hardcover edition from Book of the Month. So this is a second chance romance between a divorced couple. They're in their 40s. They co-parent. They co-own a restaurant. Just such a beautiful and emotional book. So I grabbed Kiss Her One Through Me. This is actually a sapphic romance and I want to get to this one. This is on my TBR for January. I know a lot of friends have read and loved this one recently. This one, so I believe the two heroines meet on Christmas Eve in a bookstore, have a little meet cute, fall for one another, they have a night together, but then they end up going a separate ways. And then one of them actually ends up going through a hard time, loses her job, desperate for money. She ends up taking a job at a local coffee shop where the shop's landlord is this guy, Andrew, who she ends up having a, oh my God, <laughs> I didn't know this was the premise of this book. <laughs> <laughs> and then he proposes a shocking drunken plan for a marriage of convenience will allow him to get his recent inheritance and then will help Ellie the heroine like you know alleviate some of her financial woes. So they decide to spend the holidays together at his family's cabin to kind of introduce everybody to his new fiance and then she ends up meeting Andrew's sister who is the woman that she shared that night with the previous Christmas. So oh my god I didn't realize that was the premise for this one and that sounds so fun. So yeah can't wait to check this one out. Then I grabbed A Wilderness of Stars by Shay Earnshaw. I have a couple books from this author on my shelves. I believe they're like magical realism, maybe fantasy, maybe witchy. I can't remember but I know this is YA. <laughs> Then I had some credits to use, so I grabbed Babel. I know a lot of people have talked about this one this year. I really like the cover, and I believe it's like a like epic historical fantasy, maybe like speculative fiction or speculative fantasy as well. I'm not too sure, but here's this chunky fella. So then I had another credit to use on Book of the Month. So since I am a BFF member with them, at the end of the year, you get an extra credit to be able to use for like one of the top five books of the year. So I believe this one was the winner. So tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I've heard some interesting things about this one. I will check it out. I really love the cover of this one. Then I'm also a co-host for the Folk of the Air read along coming up in January. So I got the books for those. I got some new dust jackets for this series. First up is The Cool Prince. These are by Holly Black. I have never read this series, but I know it is like a classic YA fantasy series that I've been wanting to check out forever. Second book is The Wicked King. I love this art on this one the most. And then the back. And then The Queen of Nothing and that. And then these dust jackets that I got there from the Dusty Shop. I know they have like an Instagram page and a web page. I had purchased their SJM ones before like I have them for Akatar and the Throne of Glass series. I just really love the quality of their dust jackets and had to grab these ones during their Black Friday sale. Which I'm super excited to read this series for the first time in January. We are going to be having a read along the entire month and then at the end of the month we'll be reading the new spinoff The Stolen Air which is the newest book by Holly Black. I know nothing about this series. I know it is fantasy and fae involved and like that is all I know which I'm going to do another little short video maybe you've already seen it before this one or after this one I'm not sure when it's going up but just like kind of a read-along announcement with all the info and the live show dates so definitely join us if you've read this series before if you're going to be rereading it with us or like me and reading it for the first time and then just yesterday I went to the Barnes and Noble like 50% off of hardbacks sale and so I got these five books so first up I grabbed this Christina Lauren the soulmate equation it's like the only romance hardcover they had and I really wanted to, to purchase one so that's why I got it I did read this one I liked it Christina Lauren isn't really my favorite author duo lately but this one was pretty fun and my mom wanted to borrow it so I was like I'll grab a copy this one is signed as well so that was just kind of a fun find I got the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition for A Light in the Flame by Jennifer L. Armentrout which you know since it was half off couldn't leave it behind love the map in here I love the From Blood and Ash series and this is like the prequel series I want to say so yeah I can't wait to check it out and I grabbed this as well this is for Holly Black and this is actually one of the novellas that we're going to be reading for the Folk of the Air read-along which this one is like illustrated and really pretty so I decided to grab it. So yeah, I decided to grab this. I didn't realize it was illustrated before I got it, but yeah, it's super pretty inside. I love the art and so I'm excited to have this one on my shelves. Then I grabbed Carrie Soto's Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I love this one. This is her newest that came out this year. I have read everything that TJR writes. This is actually one of my favorites and I know my parents wanted to borrow it as well. So I was like, I will grab a copy for my shelves. <laughs> then the last one I got from Barnes & Noble is The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I had to search for this one for a little bit, but I finally found the last copy they had in the store. This one I read this month is one of the only like five star reads I had this month. I loved it. It is a Carrie reimagining or like retelling 
loved it. It's told in like modern days. I want to say like 2015 or something like that is when the crime happened. And then it's told with a true crime podcast kind of talking about the crime that happened centers around racism. Like it is such a good book. Next up, I got the Jennifer Hartman Mystic Box. The first up is Still Beating. I am obsessed with this. The gold, the gold sprayed edges. Like this book is just stunning. And it came with like a letter from the author as well as this art print as well. And then the second book is Lotus that came with it. Love the Lotus flower sprayed edges, the back. This one that came with an art print as well. Then of course, all the Mystic Boxes are also signed by the authors. I'm definitely excited to have these editions on my shelves. I love Jennifer Hartman. I've read both of these. Still Beating is actually my favorite, but Lotus is probably like my third favorite from her after June 1st. So I'm excited to have these on my shelves. And then so Mystic Box is like the dark romance books and then Bell Book Box is from the same people, but they're like contemporary romances. The so first up is Absinthe and this book is absolutely stunning. I love the gold again on here. Just such a beautiful book. And then Only One Forever by Natasha Madison. Another gold one as well. Just obsessed. Like their books are such nice quality. They have like really nice matte hardbacks and they're just really beautiful editions. Then my pre-order for Villain I'd Like to F the anthology came in. These are all historical romances centering of course around villains. This is an anthology put on by Joanna Shoup, Sierra Simone, Ava Lee, Nicola Davidson, and Adriana Herrera. I read an arc of this one as they did like Duke I'd Like to F and Rake I'd Like to F. So this one is actually probably my least favorite but still really solid and really good. So the pre-order came signed from all the authors, like a little book plate, and then it came with this fun swag as well. So a little sticker and then the cute bookshop sent like their little postcard and a little bookmark as well. Then next, my sweet friend Carrie from Book for Romance, she sent me some Christmas gifts and one of them was the Throne of Glass special edition from, of course, Sarah J Mass. So here is that. It is just like such a beautiful book. I love SJM so much and like any special edition I want to have on my shelves, like look at this gold on the inside like absolutely obsessed and I love it so much. So thank you so much, Carrie. Then I'm just gonna go through these semi quickly since I have a ton of books still. So I got It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. This is of course the sequel or follow up to It Ends With Us. And I liked, I thought it was fine. I went in with like lowered expectations. I thought it was all right for what it was. Definitely wasn't needed. It was like an extended epilogue, but like it is what it is. Next is Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is of course one of my favorite books of the year. So I had to have this one, which is a single dad grumpy rancher hero. And then the heroine is the nanny who comes and lives with him and his son for a couple months to take care of his son. Love this amazing banter. You've probably heard me talk about this one a ton and everybody else too. I know everybody loves this book. Next, Gianna Darling put out some alternate editions for her Fallen and Men series, so I grabbed them when they were actually on sale. First up is Welcome to the Dark Side. I love this one. This is the second book in the series. Then Inked and Lies is my favorite in the series. I love this one so much. It's actually my favorite Gianna book. This is book five in the Fallen Men series, and the Fallen Men series centers around a motorcycle club in Canada. So now I have multiple editions of both of these books on my shelves, but am I mad about it? Nope, not at all. <laughs> and then I grabbed these two books from Sophie Lark's website for her Black Friday deals going on. So this is The Heir, the first book in the Kingmaker series, and then The Rebel. This is the second book, which I needed as well. These were like the last two I needed for the series in these original covers, which I just love and I'm obsessed with. <laughs> so yeah, definitely had to have these for my shelves. Then I grabbed Tis a Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. This is one of my favorites of the year. I love this one so much. It's kind of like legally blonde inspired with the heroine deciding to get revenge on her ex who breaks up with her. And so she decides she's going to date and bang his boss and get her to invite him to the work Christmas party that her ex would never bring her to. It's definitely so much more than that. Lots of banter and an amazing hero as well. I've talked about this one a ton of times as well already. And then BK Borson was having a Black Friday deal going on as well. So I grabbed In the Weeds from her shop, which came signed and then it came with some fun swag as well. So she had this really cute love light postcard and then these adorable bookmarks for all the heroes in her series as well, which I've loved this entire series. Love it so much. Two of the books are actually going to be on my favorites of the year list. And then my friend Rose from Paperback Duchess on Instagram, she sent me a copy of this little cute novella from Kate Bateman, Orchids and a Mistletoe. I'm obsessed with that cover. This is just like really short, a cute little novella. So I'm so thankful for her for sending this to me. And then one of my book besties from Instagram, Jen, who she is Jen Book Magpie on Instagram. We talk like every single day I met her I think like two years ago I want to say on Instagram we just chat all the time we get along with like everything we have the same thoughts and feelings on books so she sent me two books from my wish list so she sent me Ever Yours Annabelle from Elisa Braden this, this is the prequel book for the Rescued from Ruin series which we both read and loved this one so I'm so excited to have this on my shelves and then she sent me The Stray Prince by Ella Fields this is actually an adult fantasy romance which it follows up from A King So Cold which was actually one of my favorites of like 2020 I want to say and so I've been meaning to get back to that series or reread that one so I can jump into 
the sequel. So thank you so much, Jen, for these. And my amazing friend Tiffany from Tiff Talks Pages or Neverland Pixie on Instagram. She sent me two books for my wish list for Christmas. So she sent me From Luke Off with Love by Mariana Zapata. I've been meaning to read this book for like years now. I know it is an ice skating romance, very like the cutting edge vibes. So I'm excited to check it out. She also sent me a Kerrigan Byrne novella. So this is The Earl on the Train. This one was released earlier this year in an anthology and then it came out separately as well. This is part of the Victorian Rebels series, which I absolutely adore and love. One of my all-time favorite series. So thank you so much to Tiffany for sending me both of these. And then a, another Black Friday sale treating myself. I got some more Candy Steiner books. So she was having like a scratch and dent sale as well. So these were, I think, like six to eight dollars each. And there's literally like nothing wrong with the books. Like maybe a couple dents in the pages, but like nothing dramatic that I don't mind having on my shelves. So first up is on The Way to You. I read this one like four years ago maybe. I've been reading Candy Steiner for a long time. Came with a bookmark that matches as well and then of course it's signed. Then I grabbed What He Always Knew. This is the second book in her What He Doesn't Know duet which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite Candy Steiners. And then I grabbed Waitlist as well. And then my sweet friend Carrie from Book for Romance. She sent me that Throne of Glass special edition set and then she also sent me Heartless Duke which is the second book in Scarlet Scott's series that I've been obsessed with and can't wait to read in January. So thank you so much Carrie. And then Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers, she sent me book five in the Scarlet Scott series. So this is Scandalous Duke. Can't wait to read this as well. So thank you so much to Lacey. And these two books I grabbed for myself, they were actually on sale one time on Amazon when I was looking. So I was like, okay, I will grab that. So Hoop Shorts by Kennedy Ryan. I love this like little novella bind up. It has, I want to say two novellas in here. It's a little short read. I love this. It was just released this year. Anything Kennedy Ryan I want on my shelves. <laughs> and then this one actually went on sale as well. So this is Barbarian's Seduction in the Ice Planet Barbarian series. I want to say this is book 20. Yeah, book 20 in the series. I've read the entire series. I love Ruby Dixon so much and I definitely want these original covers on my shelves. So I've been slowly collecting them. <laughs> Next, I just won this in a giveaway from Dangerous Press. And so this is Velvet Cruelty by Eve Dangerfield. This is a reverse harem situation setup of like a Snow White retelling with the heroine and then three guys I want to say the kidnap her. It has kind of like mafia-esque vibes and it is part of that like bigger Midnight Dynasty series that like multiple authors have written for and so this is the first one in a Snow White kind of series that Eve Dangerfield will be doing. And then Catherine Cowles is actually hosting a giveaway for this little bind up. So this is actually Holiday with the Players and it has two novellas in here. So it came signed by the author which I always love. And then Snowden with the Player is the first novella. I have read that one. And then the second one, Sneaking Around with the Player. So yeah, this follows two twin sisters, Christmas like little novellas. So yeah, I'm excited to have this cute little cover on my shelves. I love a little holiday anthology bind up. I got this fun little surprise Christmas stack of what seven books from forever. The first up is No Ordinary Christmas. I love this cover. It is set in Maine with a small town librarian and a Hollywood star reuniting for the holidays. It sounds so cute. Next up is Sugar Plum Way by Debbie Mason. I just obsessed with these covers like they're so cute. And in this one it says that the hero is a single dad and then the heroine is a romance writer. So that sounds super adorable. And at the Christmas Village I love the little puppy dog on here. So in this one it says the heroine returns home to her childhood home. She joins a book club. It's a small town setting of course and then actually her ex-fiance actually ends up being her tenant so that is interesting <laughs> and wishing on a cowboy christmas i'm obsessed with this i think we're all like in a cowboy era right now so this one is fun the heroine is a pediatric nurse and the hero is a former navy seal turned cowboy dreaming of a heart like christmas again a cute little puppy dog this one is two total opposites discover christmas is the most wonderful time of the year so the heroine is trying to get enough money to start her own business and so she decides to sell her grandmother's historic house and the hero is a local woodworker and he's trying to convince her to keep the property and not sell it to like greedy developers. So that sounds like fun too. And this one is just so cute. The 12 dogs of Christmas. Like look at all these adorable puppy dogs. A cute little puppy on the back as well. And then Christmas at Fireside Cabins by Jenny Hale. I love how floppy this one is. Just so satisfying. Like this looks like a place that I want to be like right now. So this one is set in a small town, Tennessee, snowed to top mountains little village. And it is the heroine's romance with I believe the local coffee shop owner who is the hero. So this one sounds like a lot of fun too. So honestly, all of these sound like so much fun. Like I just want to cozy up with all of these and just read them all. Like they sound so delightful. So thank you so much to Forever for sending me these. And then I actually just got this one in yesterday. So this is The Duke Gets Even by Joanna Shoup. This is the fourth and final book in her Fifth Avenue Rebels series. I did read an arc of this one, but the publisher sent me a finished copy. This one I believe comes out January. So I'm excited to have this on my shelves. I love the blue on this like so much. And Jess from Peace Love Books, she sent me The Holly Dates by Bernice Cherry. I adored this one. I just read it this month. It came out the beginning of December. 
this book just like made me smile so much. I was not having a great reading month and so this one was a delightful surprise. The heroine is a romance writer and then the hero actually ends up becoming like her dating coach when she's going on all these like failed first dates at his restaurant. It is such a cute setup. I love their banter and friendship. It becomes a little bit of like fake dating in here as well and yeah just really fun and sweet. They form such a great friendship. So thank you so much to Jess for sending me this copy. And then I am part of Berkeley's like influencer or like partnership program and so they sent me a copy of A Love by Design by Elizabeth Everett. This is the second book in her Secret Scientists of London series so I did read the first book which was A Lady's Formula for Love and this is book two so thank you so much to Berkeley for sending me this. And then a few romance booktubers were doing a Secret Santa thing and my Secret Santa ended up being Nikki from Nikki and Bookland so she sent me The Gravity of Us by Brittany C. Cherry. I am obsessed with this book, love it so much. This whole element series is so so good. I read this like four years ago when I started reading Bernice Cherry and I definitely want to reread the whole series because I just loved it. Then she also sent me The Close-Up by Kennedy Ryan. This is a novella and it is actually part of Kennedy Ryan's Holiday Renaissance which her book Real is from and then also her Hoops series. There's kind of like a little mashup happening in this book. I adore this, loved it so much. So thank you so much to Nikki for both of these. I loved The Secret Santa so much. Then I went to my local used bookstore and found a couple indie books there so I had to grab them. So I found Twisted Lies by Anne Huang. This is the fourth book in her Twisted series and was actually the last one I needed on my shelf so I'm excited to get this one. And then I also got The Half Orcs Maiden Bride by Ruby Dixon. Couldn't pass this up like Ruby Dixon at a used bookstore like yes please. <laughs> then I traded myself to a couple books from Devony Perry's website. Then it came with this adorable bookmark. Hopefully that shows up. I love Devonie Perry so much and needed a couple more books on my shelves from her. I've read all of her books and just adore them. So first up is The Bitterroot Inn. This is in her Jameson Valley series. This one I actually loved. Came with this cute like little matching sticker. If you've never shopped her website before, she always like personalizes and signs them. She'll send cute bookmarks or stickers and swag and like she ships them so fast. I also got Steel King, which is the first book in the Clifton Forge series. So this one came with some cute swag as well and then of course signed too. Then I got Shattered Sea by Katherine Cowles. This is in her Tattered and Torn series and Hello Lovely box did a special edition. I love this cover so much. These two books came from Hello Lovely as well. They were special editions that came with the Katherine Cowles book box. So first up is In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. I've heard a lot of friends love this one and so I'm excited to check it out. And then this one is Sabrina's Guide to Searching for Someday by Cynthia A. Rodriguez. I have no idea what this one is about. Shipwrecked by Olivia Dade. I was sent this from the publishers. This one was sadly my least favorite in the series but I'm obsessed with the cover and the couple. And then Hello Lovely recently did like a mystery holiday with a book and so I actually got Credence by Penelope Douglas, the special edition of this one which I love. Another recent run from Hello Lovely was this was for their trope of the month box. This is a friends to lovers hockey romance so it is Trial by Fire by M.E. Carter. I've never heard of this book or this author but I'm excited to check it out and of course I'm obsessed with the green. Then I had pre-ordered a copy of Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan so I love the gold foil on this one. This one did come with some swag since I pre-ordered so first it was signed to me and then it came with a bookmark and then an art print as well. And then lastly is Resting Witch Face by Juliet Cross. This is the fifth book in her Stay a Spell series, Second Chance Romance, Vampire Hero, Witch Heroine. Loved this book so much and so I'm so excited to have this one. So that was my massive book haul from the last two months plus Christmas gifts as well. So I had a lot of books to talk about. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm excited to get all of these books on my shelves now. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books that I just talked about or maybe some books that you hauled recently. I'd love to chat about it. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I'll see you in my next one.